Hi guys, it's Sheila. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys the new Pelican Air case that I got. I am mainly going to be using this for uh, wedding work. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use it always for photo, but I'm definitely going to be using it for video when I'm, you know, carrying maybe two or three bodies, um, my drone and some other equipment that you're going to see. So I'm going to let you guys know why I chose this case and the attachments that I got with it. Okay, so the first thing is that I'm about 5'4", uh, so I can't really carry like a lot of weight. So this I thought was like the perfect size for me. I also don't like carrying a lot of equipment. I like just taking what I need on a shoot. Obviously I leave stuff on my car just in case something happens, but um, for the most part, I like to have all my equipment with me and I don't, I like to just travel light. So I thought this was like a really great option. It's easy for me to put it in the, in my trunk. Um, it also has this um, this little thing right here so you can roll it. You can, the other reason why I chose this so small is because if I ever have to travel, I can safely just have this um, as my carry-on and have all my equipment with me at all times uh, because equipment is expensive and you definitely want to make sure it's safe and it is with you. And I also chose it in black um, because I didn't want to call too much attention, even though I feel like people just already know that if you're carrying a Pelican case, you most likely have something important in it and you definitely want to take care of it. So I don't know, but at least I'm not ca calling too much attention. Um, so I chose the Pelican 1535. I forgot to say that. This is a 1535 Pelican Air. So I know there's another model that's a little bit more uh, popular than this one, but these two tend to be the two carrying carry on sizes. So people tend to gravitate towards those. And there's other ones that are bigger and still are, um, you're able to like roll them and have the wheels. But I just thought that those would be too hard for me to handle, especially because I'm gonna probably have another camera bag and a bag to just carry my tripods. So I don't wanna go too heavy. I also live in the outer index, so um, the conditions, like not the conditions, but like the venues here are not like super uh, friendly. You tend to walk to a lot of rocky spots. If not, you're like going up a mountain. So there's only so many shoots that I plan on taking this with. So let's get into it. I chose the Pelican 1535. As I said, it has this little thing right here. It's very fairly easy. You pull this, you pull this back to be able to lift it up. And then you have this um, handle right here and you have a handle on this side. So it's super easy. Um, it also has this little thing right here where you're able to put your um, business cards. You have to have the Pelican case open in order for you to put the business card in. Um, this two attachments here, you push them in and you're able to unlock it. And when you open it up, it has this cushion right here on the back to make sure that your equipment's always protected. This does not come like glued in just because they have other attachments that you can get. Um, so it's super easy to just take out, but I don't find it annoying or anything. I don't find like I need to like glue it to the actual back. So there's different inserts that you can um, get. There's also <clears throat> a big pouch that you can get from Pelican. So I chose this insert right here. You're able to kind of customize it however you want to. I apologize because I forgot the name of it. I'll try to maybe look it up, but basically, Basically, it's these um, black, very sturdy separators, and they come with, um, let me show you. This, they come with this little brackets here, and it also brings a little um, cutter. So this little cutter right here is super easy. You put this side inside of one of these squares, and then it's basically centered and aligned, so you just keep cutting, and it's gonna cut straight. It was super easy for me. I am not like the most, well, I, I guess I am crafty, but I definitely, I'm not known to cut straight lines. <laughs> but um, yeah, I found it super easy. You can cut these to whatever size you need, depending on how you want to separate your case. So I really like that. I'm going to show a video of when I first got it. I unfortunately was not able to film for like YouTube when that happened. Um, so it's just from my phone, but it brings a lot of extras. I already cut all the pieces that I wanted and I still have these two extras um, that I can cut if I wanna ever customize it in a different way. And I have a bunch of extras here. I do love the fact that it has like little red ribbons. So when you wanna pull it out, it's just easy to pull those ribbons out. I don't know if you guys can see. 
right there. Hopefully you can. That attachment is a little bit expensive, but in my opinion, it was worth it because the other one was a cushion one and I just wanted something a little bit more sturdy. Um, something that I found weird, I'm going to bring you guys a little closer later and I'll show you what I mean by it. But something I found a little weird is that there's no like cushion separating the wheels so I can feel the wheels in here. I can see them and I can feel them. They're like in the way. So I don't know if I don't want to like smack something against it. I don't want my camera lenses to be um touching them either so i don't know if there's like a cushion that protects that and there's also the where you pull the little stroller thing it's right here as well so um i ended up getting another pouch this one is not from pelican but i found that it was more appropriate for what i'm looking for this one is from the brand uh jason cases and it was 108 dollars. i believe this attachment is about 140 dollars um, I will link it all down below. I'm sorry that I don't know the names, but I wanted to get something like this because I'm going to have, uh, cables, batteries, just different little things that I want to keep separate. And the other cool thing is that this already brings, um, Velcro. So right now I'm going to go ahead and Velcro this in so you guys can see how I'm going to set up my whole case. So I'm taking this out super easy. I'm not going to throw it away or anything. I'm always going to keep that in my bag. And on the back of this, it has exactly where you need to put the Velcro. So you have the top and the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Velcro these in. Velcro these in like this. Should be fairly easy. Okay. And then I'm going to Velcro these right there too. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to just do two. I don't know if I'll have space for the three and the center one. I would like to, but... 
I ended up buying the case from Adorama, by the way. I forgot to say that. Um, just because I think they had a just the best price. And so this is how it looks right now. Now I'm going to peel the white. Okay, so it seems like the glue, it's really good. <laughs> I hope it sticks for a while, honestly. Oops, so I hope it actually stays. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of push to let it glue well on the areas that I know, like the center. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna try to just I'm gonna try to take it off just to make sure that I can glue it myself. Because I don't think this is actually gluing, huh? Okay, so let's start filling in uh, the Pelican case. I'm going to start gathering my two cameras. I have a 5D Mark IV, which is my second body. And I have my R6, which usually goes um, on my gimbal. So these two, I'm gonna put side by side here in that compartment. I don't know if you can see, but it fits like perfectly. I also will probably bring my ADD and will probably rent another R6. Uh, I'm not sure, but for those, I'd probably just bring them in a different case. Um, I also have the RSC2 gimbal and it fits like perfectly right here. So that's super nice that it fits right there. Um, if not, I will probably also put this in a case, so I'll probably interchange it. But this is just like one configuration that I can put this, uh, this case like. So I'm gonna put my lenses here. I will probably bring the 35, which I'm filming with right now. I have the 24 to 105, and I will also bring the um, 70 to 200. So I'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, so the 70 to 200 fits right here perfectly. And I have the 50. Most of the time I have the 50 on my camera in the gimbal. So I'm gonna put it right here. And then the 35, which be the, will be the, the only other lens that fits here. But I feel like I can find a way to fit stuff uh, in other places. So I usually have this little small rig, um, rig for the 5D Mark IV. And um, just in case I need it or I try decide to go handheld, so if I do, I'll probably just have it here. And if not, it's just in my case. That's something that I either take with me or don't. It depends on like my mood, really. <laughs> I also forgot to put the handle for the gimbal, which I can put like over here. Perfect. So now I'm gonna put my audio here. Um, I will have to find a place to put the 35. If not, I'll probably just leave the 24 to 105 or put it in a separate bag because I don't really end up using that lens too much. For audio, I have the Rode mics. This has a um, transmitter and it has two mics. So usually I just put this right here on the top. And then I have a backup audio, which is my Zoom H1N. So I'll put this right here. I also have this um, extra battery, I'm sorry, extra SD cards that I take with me. So I'll put that there as well. And I have a um, lavalier. I have two actually in here, one white one for the bride and a black one for, our, um, for the groom. So the black one that I have is from Boya. Uh, it works really well, I really like it. And the white one that I have is from Rode just because that's the only white one I could find. I would like to have them both for, for um, Rode at some point because the Boya one is really long, but it's also $80. So I'm not, I don't feel like I'm there yet. And then I had like to have another backup for um, sound just in case there's stuff happening. You never know what you want to be capturing. So I have this Rode mic as well. So I'll put this right here. Um, I also have this little, um, oh my goodness, what is this called? Osmo pocket. And I just take it with me just to take some, maybe some uh, panoramas or some uh, time lapses with me. So I can put this right here. And this I use to tie the um, microphone around the bride. And I also have this little stickers uh, for the actual mics for them to stay in place. So I'll put these maybe here if they fit. 
actually maybe here. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna fit there. And then this, I can probably just sneak it in there. Cool. So the other thing that I have is this little small rig um, tool. I use this all the time for tripods, for mounts, for my rig. So I'll be putting this probably here. Now that I think about it, I can probably fit a lot of stuff that I put on the actual case over here. This is a little hard to open, but I'm glad that it's like not too easy either. So let me see if this fits over here. It might be too long, but maybe I could take like take them out and just have them with me. Yeah, maybe I'll do that later. Something I will be putting here is my Tiffin filter. This one is a Black Pro Mist uh, 1 8 and I use that a lot for my wedding films. And then I have two cables here um, for my audio. I have one for the aux, and then I have these ones, depending on uh, what the DJ has and what I have to plug in for my rope mics. During like the speeches and everything, I use these. So I'll be putting this in here. Cool, I like, I like this pouch a lot. So maybe I'll put, um, maybe I'll create like a little section for like sound and put these in here along with the mic. I feel like the, most, the more space that I can take out of there, um, I will be able to fit my lenses. So I can make that fit right there. Awesome. Um, a lot of things are fitting in here. I like that. So the only other thing that I don't have in here is the drone. I usually either have it in here or I have an Anouk uh, case that I put it in. Um, I don't know if I can like rearrange this in another way when I am taking this and maybe it will fit in here. It looks like it would if I take like my gimbal out, but for now I'm okay just carrying a different case for it or putting it on my camera bag. So I feel like it's pretty full. Um, I don't feel right now that there's anything else that I want to take with me that I haven't mentioned other than the other lens that's going to go here. Um, so I'll take the camera off the tripod and I'll show you guys how it's looking and yeah, how I put this together. Okay, so I'm going handheld here, so it's going to be a little shaky, but basically this is how it's looking. I like it a lot. I feel like I can fit a lot of stuff in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and try to close it and let you guys see what it looks like. All right, so I have everything in here that I wanna take with me. So now I'm just gonna try to close this. I will, could probably even just have this with me instead of um, taking this off the Velcro every time. I could probably just kinda like do this. Nope, gonna be the case. Maybe I can just put this one. Yeah, that actually works fine. At least I have a little bit of protection there. But overall, it didn't, um, you know, I have a lot of stuff in that little compartment. I'll probably be putting more. And I don't feel like it added, obviously it added a little bit of weight, but I don't feel like it added um, to the point where I can't close my case. So I'm super happy with everything that's in here. I don't think things are going to be moving around too much. And I'm happy with the decision that I made for the 1535 from Pelican. So I did look at other ones that were competitors. Like I said, I have an Anouk uh, or Nanook, I'm not sure how to say it, case uh, for my drone and I really, really like it. I think the um, quality is exceptional, if not the same as Pelican. So I was in between those. The only reason why I didn't chose, choose an Anouk was because I think it was a little bit just slightly smaller on the inside from the 1535 that I was comparing it to. And as you can see, I need uh, like every inch of space that I have in here. And yeah, that's the reason. I feel like the colors, if you are someone that's like motivated by the colors that you're choosing, the Nanook are really cool, but I was just looking for something that was black. Um, in this instance, I would love to have like a blue one or orange one or anything like that. But I know for now, I feel like it's a great choice. So as far as quality, this case does seem really sturdy. It seems like it's shut sealed, you know, like really good. And it's also waterproof and it has this little um, hole right here where you can put um, actually on both sides, you can put locks if you want to. Uh, like I said, you can always like check this in at the airport if you want, but you can use it as a carry-on if you would like to as well. You can also take all the compartments out and fill this with clothes. I don't know why you would do that, but, oops, almost. <laughs> 
draft it. And then you can always like pull this up and have your backpack resting on this or your bag at the airport as well and just kind of have like a, your eye on it. And um, I also saw someone put a little like coffee uh, just attachment where you can like rest your coffee, you can sit on it. There's a lot of things that you can do with this case and there's a lot of reasons why you should get it if you are used to working in production, if you work in weddings or if you do any kind of like filmmaking or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, the reason I wanted a case was not only because I want something to put my equipment um, while I'm going to shoot, but I also wanted something at home where I can just safely store my equipment as well. And that's why I ended up spending the money uh, for a Pelican case. I also wanted to just get the right compartments inside because if not, I was just going to end up just buying a new bag and always wanting the next thing. So I feel like with this, I already have it set up how I want it. And now I can definitely just, uh, you know, plan on having this for a lot of years <laughs> um, until it probably just, it's not good. Um, as far as stickers, I only have this one stickers that says Adventure Awaits. I'm looking to fill it out soon, but I just want to put like stickers that I really like and I don't have actually any hanging around my house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will leave all the links down below. If Anyways, uh, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything that I didn't answer or that you're looking for, the links for anything is going to be all linked down below. Um, if you have any questions of the equipment that I use, why I use it, let me know as well and I will try to make a video on those. But thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!